Last week, George Bridges, the president of Evergreen State College, on August 16th, 2007, at 4.20 p.m., because it's Evergreen, uh, sent out a, an email to all of us Evergreen people called Our Country, Our College, and Our Collective Future. Now, I want to read that and provide a, a little bit of my analysis, unobjective as it is. Quote, the appalling acts of violence in Charlottesville and cities across the country this weekend are painful reminders of the fissures that divide our nation. We condemn these public displays of hate and terror perpetrated by white supremacists. We join the large majority, the large majority, <laughs> of Americans committed to pursuing racial equity, and justice, right? Equity. I'm not necessarily sure that the large majority of Americans are necessarily on board with this equity thing, especially for the fact that, one, what does it really mean? I mean, to quote Felix Braffith again, what is equity but the willingness to give up something? And to it, so it's not really defined, so we don't really know if we can be for or against something that, that's definition is so shaky. I mean, it sounds good because it sounds like equality, which is kind of an enlightenment ideal that I think a large part of our country has been operating underneath or working toward. We've been working toward equality, but now there's this idea of equity that doesn't that the proponents of equity are constantly saying, this is not equality, this is not equality, this is not equality. Anyways, that's a side point. To continue with Bridges. While the impact and scale were different, the events at Charlottesville take me back to the conflict we experienced this spring at Evergreen. Although no physical injuries and little property damage occurred on our campus, the unrest we experienced tore at the fabric of our college. It caused some to question their trust in the institution, in one another, and in our shared commitment to Evergreen's social contract. Now, a very minor side note, George Bridges apparently does not believe in the Oxford comma, and I'm on board with that. This is in bold. Our college, like our country, must work on healing these fissures. We must reform systems that fail to deliver equitable outcomes. I'm not making this up. We must create a campus for students, faculty, and staff which is free of bias and intimidation. Now, I need to be very, very clear on this. I am under no circumstances okay with people intimidating other people. And I really think that we all need to work on our biases. Now, a lot of my Evergreen videos are examining this bias, anti-bias stuff at Evergreen and showing how it's actually more bias than that which it is trying to defeat, that it's inherently bias. And, and so I'm, I'm against bias, or, or I want us to kind of be aware, to try to figure out on an individual and a societal level just what kind of a bias is appropriate to any given situation. But equitable outcomes, how can our systems be reformed to deliver equitable outcomes? What exactly does that mean in the college context? Does that mean within the college context that everybody receives the same grade? the same amount of attention, or the same return on their investment. And if that investment, that return on investment is supposed to be the same, does that not have something to do with the equity involved in what you invest into your education? How much, how seriously you take your education? How far you as an individual pursue your education through the format of Evergreen? So how can an institutional system equalize the outcome of those who go through it, equalize the experience of those who participate within it, right? Because we're all different people 
Furthermore, we're all going to act in a different way. We're all going to think in a different way. We're all going to speak in a different way. We're all going to have different positions, and those positions are going to be moved. And for some of us, the position is going to be moved a little bit. Some of it is going to get even less moved. It's going to be solidified. Some of For some of us, our positions are going to move a lot, and our brains are going to be really wide open. It all depends. <laughs> to pursue equitable outcomes, I think it's a wild goose chase. And I want to propose that somebody needs to really define what they mean by equitable outcomes for it not to be tyrannical. Furthermore, on with the letter. To that end, many of you have expressed the desire for more information about how Evergreen responded to the incidents in the spring, more timely communications about the college's ongoing initiatives, and greater engagement with campus leaders. I have heard you. Beginning September 1, we will launch new communication tools and practices reflecting an invigorated commitment to keeping students, staff, and faculty informed. We will explain our work over the summer with media, legislators, trustees, and other stakeholders, and you will hear more from our leadership on campus, such as our new Vice President for Equity and Inclusion, Dr. Chastity Holliman Douglas, about our work toward our priorities. So their priorities are the same. Their priorities, the stated priorities of the college, are basically the same as they were back in November. If you want to go back and look at my Is Evergreen a Cult video, that event, that Equity and Inclusion Council report back, it's, it's still on track. And very soon I'm going to have a conversation with somebody who can help us deconstruct that document and see how the data of the proposal of the Equity and Inclusion Clan clan, ouch, the equity and inclusion plan is actually very anti-data, very, um, very weak as a sociological document, but they're still very much invested in this idea of equity. And I still think that that is still the problem, that they haven't budged or even within this communication are further defining what they mean by equity. So I have to presume, and probably falsely presume, that they're still on track with everything that I've been critiquing over the past six hours of Evergreen videos that maybe you have or have not looked through. Back to the letter. This is in bold. Our college, like our country, must be open to feedback and constructive criticism. A team of respected community leaders from across the state will conduct an external review of the events of this past spring to assess the actions we took in response to campus disruptions. This group will also recommend steps to avoid similar escalations in the future. Again, in bold, our college, like our country, must remain true to the values we profess. Evergreen's mission articulates the college's commitment to learning across significant differences. We also think of this value as one to be applied to our classrooms and seminars, but it's just as applicable to the work we all do at the college. There must be a shared expectation throughout campus that difficult conversations are to be embraced, the views of others are to be respected, and that these actions are conducted with an eye to safety for all. Please know I will do my best to achieve these goals. Thank you for your commitment to our college. George Bridges, President, the Evergreen State College. Now, I want to repeat that last, parts of that last paragraph, because I think that is solid. I really distrust this whole equitable outcomes thing, and... <laughs> Whatever equity is, I'm still not sold on the concept of equity, especially if it's just telling other people to give up what they have so you can have as much as they have. It doesn't seem to be the case that taking from other people is necessarily how you generate what other people have gotten, but generation and, um, and, and, uh, and theft are, I guess that's the, that's the dueling narrative. Like, like what the individualist says, I will pull myself up by the bootstraps. I will create wealth. And then the, the other person says, no, you're only ever taking wealth from other people. 
Now, and that's kind of what I see with this equity thing. It's a Marxist zero-sum game of everything that other people have, they have taken from you um, instead of creating wealth, such as technology or any sort of um, artistic pursuit of creating value in an artistic sense or in a technological sense or just by very... Uh, or by creating value in, in intellectually by exerting effort to master some aspect of the human experience or science or whatever. Anyways, so George says, there must be a shared expectation throughout campus that difficult conversations are to be embraced. The views of others are to be respected and that these actions are conducted with an eye to safety for all. And I agree with that. And we'll see how things progress this coming fall quarter.